Hello and welcome to another episode of Cloud Chats with Cats. In today's episode, we will have a look at how we can automatically start and stop our compute instances using a script that runs as a cron job and the tag namespace. In order to reduce costs and keep track of what instances are started and stopped at which time, we can use a script running as a cron job on a compute instance, a separate one that's always on. And then we can use the tag namespace to define some tags for the schedule. Let's take a look at how we can achieve that. So let us first have a look at the script that we have created in Python and how it runs. First of all, we need to import the OCI SDK, which you can install by using pip install OCI, and then some more libraries that we will need. So first of all, our first function is one that finds the list of tagged instances. We use the search client or the search API to do that. We do a structured search that does query instance resources. This will return all the instances in our region. After that, we set our filter tag key as schedule. And if we run the script with a compartment, we will filter by that compartment only. Otherwise, we return the results for the whole tenancy. Moving on, we've got two functions that handle the starting and stopping of the instances where we use the compute client. Then we've got the function that parses the tags from our instance list. We check if we've got tags from the namespace schedule. And if we do, we split the times. We create a new array which contains the day and the times. And then we set up the array for each instance with its identifier, compartment and the schedule. And this is the function that starts and stops the instances depending on the tags. So as you can see, we first check if the day is the current date, if it's the weekend, the weekday or any day. And then we convert the times and check if the time that the script has been run at is between the start time and the stop time. If it is, then we need to start the instance. Otherwise, we need to stop it. And the same check is done for each type of tag. The function that checks if the time is in between the start and stop time is a very simple one. We've got another function to convert our schedule time. This is the function that handles our arguments in case we ran the script using a specific compartment and not the whole tenancy. And then in the entry point, as you can see, we just set up the configuration, we set up the identity and the compute clients, set up the region and the tenancy, and then run our functions. So let's give it a run locally and see how it works. As you can see, it found my two instances and it has started them. And if we check in the console, we can see that my instance, this one has been started and the demo builds has been started as well. The next step will be to create the compute instance that will be always on, on which the script will run, to upload that script to the instance and also to create the cron job. In order to run the script as a cron job, we will need to have an instance that is permanently online to which we will connect, upload the script and then set up the cron. So this is the instance that I will be using. It's running Oracle Linux 8.6 and I have downloaded the SSH key so I can connect remotely to it. So as you can see in this uh, Visual Studio Code window, I am connected remotely via SSH and now we just need to create the cron job. A very useful site for creating our cron job is CronTap Guru, where you can edit the cron schedule expressions and see what they would look like. In order to do that, the expression is zero star 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 because we want to run it hourly at minute zero. So let's create a new cron tab by running sudo crontab minus E add our script and save it. So our new cron tab is installed. Let us check the status of the cron daemon. It's active and running. And now we need to copy our other files that we will need for running the script. That is the config file and installing the OCI SDK. If you're running the latest version of Oracle Linux, you will already have the OCI SDK installed. So what we can do is run the script here and check if it works. And as we can see, the script is running properly. For our cron job, we can also redirect the output 
to a log file so we can check it later on if you want to see which instances have been started and stopped at which time. And finally, let's create the schedule tag namespace and add some tags to the compute instances. Now, in order to set the schedule tags on an instance, we would go to compute instances, move to the compartment where our instances are found, select one of our instances, and then we can check the tags. As you can see, I already have one defined. So let's take a look at how we can add another one. And now we just enter the times in between which we want our instance to be started up. You can set up yourself the way the tag values look like uh, by modifying the script. The way I have them defined is by setting the intervals where I want the instance to be started. And now we've got two tags for the schedule, any day and for Wednesday in particular. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you the next time with some more fun stuff on Oracle Cloud.